There's a pretty one, Ulysses. There it is. Hello, Booktube. I'm Sean, the Book Maniac. Welcome to another wee book haul. Three books for you. A couple of them are rather popular in the literary fiction department. First one is Study for Obedience by Sarah Bernstein. It was on a couple different prize lists, one of which is not mentionable on my channel anymore. The other one was The Booker, wasn't it? I think it was on The Booker list. And I heard so many mixed reviews of it, and especially when I saw Eric Carl Anderson's um, bail review, I thought, oh, I have to read it. And now, since then, he's reread it and liked it a second time. Uh, apparently the writing is beautiful. From Montreal, who lives in Scotland, Sarah Bernstein. And I think you've all heard about this book, Ad Nauseam. It's about a, a young woman moves somewhere to become a housekeeper for her brother, and a little bit of plot ensues, perhaps. <laughs> but the writing is supposed to be to die for. So let's hear the opening paragraph. Chapter 1 is called... A beginning, a beginning again. It was the year the sow eradicated her piglets. It was a swift and menacing time. One of the local dogs was having a phantom pregnancy. Things were leaving one place and showing up in another. It was springtime when I arrived in the country, an east wind blowing, an uncanny wind as it turned out. Certain things began to arise. The pigs came later, though not much, and even if I had only recently arrived, had no livestock caretaking responsibilities, had only been in to look safely on one side of the electric fence. I knew they were right to hold me responsible. But all that, as I said, came later. Well, that is quite an interesting opening. This is an old book. This is a biography of Somerset Maugham. Willie, The Life of W. w Somerset Maugham by Robert Calder. And it was published way back in 1989, and it won the Governor General's Award for nonfiction that year or the next year. And I was gifted a copy from an old acquaint university acquaintance. And right now, for my Patreon mid- and upper-tier members, we're doing a read-along of, of Human Bondage. And so it's timely that I have this... At its time, groundbreaking biography. I, mean, I think there's been several more come out more recently. Robert Calder was a pr professor at the University of Saskatchewan here. He still lives, he's retired, still lives in Saskatoon. I have connections whereby I'm hoping to be able to interview him about Somerset Mom. Here's the opening paragraph from chapter one. It is appropriate that William Somerset Mom, the most widely traveled writer of his time, came into the world carrying a passport. His birth in France to English parents on the 25th of January, 1874, was not on French soil, but on a tiny island of British territory in Paris. Because the recent Franco-Prussian War had severely depleted the numbers of French troops, the French government was considering legislation that would require military service from all boys born in France. Since the British embassy was legally foreign land, those born there would be exempt from French law. And so Willie Mom became one of three children delivered within its walls. And finally, this is a hot novel. I have on, I have purposely avoided hearing any of the reviews or whatever about it on BookTube or anywhere else because I heard just a smidge about it that thought, oh, this is a book I want to check out. And so for me, that meant buying it with some birthday money. So it hasn't been in the house very long. It's Martyr by Kava Akbar. Just a 2024 release, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And Kava Akbar, he is an Iranian-American poet, born in Iran, moved to the U.S. when he was two years old. So I'm assuming this story is also set in Persia or Iran. The protagonist is a young man grappling with violence and loss. Don't need to know another darn thing about what it's about. It's apparently got... A lot of stuff about spirituality in it, which doesn't usually float my boat, but the kinds of people who have spoken about it enthusiastically has intrigued me. I'm going to read the first two paragraphs of the first chapter. The first chapter is called Cyrus Shams, that's the protagonist's name, and then Ready University 2015. 
Maybe it was that Cyrus had done the wrong drugs in the right order, or the right drugs in the wrong order. But when God finally spoke back to him after 27 years of silence, what Cyrus wanted more than anything else was a do-over. Clarification. Lying on his mattress that smelled like piss and Febreze, in his bedroom that smelt like piss and Febreze, Cyrus stared up at the room's single light bulb, willing it to blink again, willing God to confirm that the bulb's flicker had been a divine action and not just the old apartment's trashy wiring. Flash it on and off, Cyrus had been thinking, not for the first time in his life. Just a little wink and I'll sell all my shit and buy a camel. I'll start over. All his shit at that moment amounted to a pile of soiled laundry and a stack of books borrowed from various libraries and never returned. Poetry and biographies. To the lighthouse. My Uncle Napoleon. Never mind all that, though. Cyrus meant it. Why should the Prophet Muhammad get a whole visit from an archangel? Why should Saul get to see the literal light of heaven on the road to Damascus? Of course it would be easy to establish bedrock faith after such clear-cut revelation. How was it fair to celebrate those guys for faith that wasn't faith at all, that was just obedience to what they plainly observed to be true? And what sense did it make to punish the rest of humanity, who had never been privy to such explicit revelation? To make everyone else lurch from crisis to crisis, desperately alone. I have to say I love that. If you can tell me in a non-spoilery way without telling me any more about the book. Did you like this book? I'm very curious about it. That's my wee book haul. Thanks for watching.